I've been trying to figure out which discussion topic to add into this specific gameplay video. Well, I guess the news about the post-launch roadmap will do nicely. Once again EA big thumbs up for allowing me access to the preview build of EA Sports WRC. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Sim and welcome to Sims Racing. So as I've mentioned before, I didn't just want to show you gameplay footage without an additional discussion topic. With the release of the post launch roadmap, I have exactly that. Later this week I'll put another video together discussing my thoughts on the gravel side of things, but I need a bit more time. Right, before getting into some new gameplay footage, let's check out the post launch roadmap shall we? First things first, I suspect many of you are very happy to see that no relevant content, for lack of a better word, will be locked behind some sort of paywall and there is no in-game currency or boosters you can purchase with real life money, just like I mentioned in earlier news update videos. Everyone will have access to all 78 cars and 18 locations, which includes the Central European Rally that will be released post launch. For the PC VR players, their beloved feature will also be added post launch in a free update. The exact timing for the Central European Rally and PC VR wasn't revealed just yet, so we'll have to wait a short while longer to get more clarity regarding that. Other free content includes new challenges for the moments mode. Initially that will be on a daily basis, but will become less frequent over time. During the first season there will be 50 new moments added to the game for everyone to enjoy. Speaking of seasons, we will have 5 of them between launch and the summer of 2024 based on my calculations. The first one obviously starts at launch and will be 7 weeks long. The second season starts at the end of December and will be 8 weeks long. The following 3 seasons will also be 8 weeks. The seasons I'm mentioning are part of what's called the Rally Pass. Just to be clear, the Rally Pass is different from the VIP Rally Pass, which is a very important distinction to remember. Now the regular rally pass is a progression system in which players can unlock a range of items to customize their drivers and cars. In other words, these are cosmetical items only. The rally pass has 20 levels in total and earning XP is only possible by on-road activities throughout the game. So you will only be able to earn XP by simply playing the game. For the regular rally pass, each season players will be able to unlock a racing suit, pair of gloves, a helmet design and a selection of decals to use in the livery editor. In addition to that you will be able to unlock a new livery for each of the rally 1 cars as well. Owners of the VIP rally pass will have the opportunity to unlock 3 additional sets of racing suits, gloves, helmets, caps and rally 1 liveries during each of the 5 seasons. To get access to the 5 VIP rally passes, you can either pre-order the game or buy it post launch for $5.99 each. Then there is also additional content for people who are EA Play subscribers. On top of the free rally pass content everyone has access to, they will have the opportunity to unlock one additional set of racing suits, gloves, helmets, caps and a rally 1 livery each season. As a bonus they will also have access to a small selection of additional moments for the moments mode. In the first season for example they will receive 7 additional ones on top of the 50 everyone will have. Personally I think they've made the right move with their Rally Pass, VIP Rally Pass and EA Play rewards and the exclusion of paid in-game currency or boosters. Apart from those couple of challenges for the moments mode, everything is cosmetical and won't give any player an advantage over another, exactly the way it should be. With the news update completed, let's move on to my next bit of preview build gameplay. Now almost everyone has been showcasing the new Rally 1s or certain WRC or F2 kit cars. However we haven't seen much from the older historic cars. Well that's about to change because after jumping into this little gem I fell in love with it and have enjoyed plenty of kilometers behind its wheel. It quickly became one of my favorite cars in EA Sports WRC. I'm talking about the Talbot Sunbeam Lotus from the H2 rear wheel drive class. It is such a plucky little car that just wants to stretch its legs and have some fun. I've always wanted to see this car make an appearance in a modern rally title and it hasn't disappointed at all. So without further ado, I'll let you enjoy my run in the Talbot Sunbeam Lotus on the Viana do Castello stage from Rally Portugal. Hope you like it and see you next time. Starts 40, one left, good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, 
Go 40. One left opens. 50. One right sharp. Slowing. 70. Late. Hairpin left. Into crest. 40. Late. Four left. And hairpin right. Onto gravel. 40. Four right. And four left of the crest. And four right. And left of a crest, 30, 3 left, and hairpin left, short, and 4 right, tightens, into a bump, 50, 6 left of a crest, and 4 right, to 4 right, short of a crest, 40, 1 right, 30, 3 right sharp, don't cut, into left of a small crest, 30, square left, don't cut, 30, 4 right, keep in, and 3 left, don't cut, opens, into square right, rough, and 4 left, opens, into crest, and 1 right, don't cut, into crest, to 3 left, tightens, 30, Right, tightens. And five right, 30. Airpin left. And six right, opens and tightens. Into five left. And four right. And four left, 40. Caution, right of the crest, 40. Turn, square right, and one right, 30. Slight left. And five left. Keep in. 40. Six right to the crest. Into six left. Opens. Tightens five. Into four right. 70. One left. 100. Uphill. Big jump. 70. Three right short. Into four left. Over bump. 30, crest, and 5 right, short of the crest, 60, slowing, 6 left, long, tightens 3, into crest, sudden 3 right, into 1 left short, and 5 left, 30, 3 right, tightens of the crest, 90, 5 left, slowing, 80, Open hairpin right. 70. 6 right. 50. 4 left of the crest. Tightens. And 6 left. 40. Caution. 6 right. Tightens 4. Opens half long. And crest. Slowing. Into 6 left, tightens, into crest, and sudden, 1 left, 30, 1 right, opens of the crest, 50. 1 turn, square right, unseen. 60, 6 left short, into bump, and slide right, 30, bump, into left of a crest, slowing, 40, 1 left. 30, right of a bump, 40, 4 left, tightens, 30, square right. Thirty five left, and bump, 30, slowing, small jump, into 6 right, and 4 left, and turn, square right, into 3 left, long, tightens, 30. Four right, opens and tightens, past junction, to slight left, 120, slowing. Slight left, into sudden, three right, 30, turn, open hairpin left, on to tarmac. 120. Turn four right, on to gravel and crest, 50, crest. And slight left of the crest, very long, slowing, and late to three right, long, into crest. Into 
six left. Up the crest. To five left. 80. Jump. 90. Slowing right to the crest. 41 left. Tightens. 40. Two right short. 50. Late. One left. Don't cut. 30. One right. Opens. Six right to the crest. And late five left. Over crest. Don't cut. Into two right short. 80. Right to the crest. 60. Five left. Through dip. 30. Crest. 100. Six right to the jump. Caution up. Six left. Over big jump. 70. Small jump. 60. Slowing, crest, 40, 2 left, and 4 right, 30. Slowing, slight left, slight right, and turn, hairpin left. 50, slight right, half long, 50. 5 left, with a bump, 30, 3 left, keep in, into bump, and 6 right to the crest, long, 50. Square right. And early three left. 50. Four right short. Finish and one left to stop. Okay, that's a six minute 47.0.